Hi everyone, I am Miguel Ángel Sotelo, professor at the University of Alcalá in Spain. Today it is my pleasure to share my thoughts and my experience on a research topic that really fascinates me, the prediction of behaviors and trajectories of vulnerable users and drivers in the context of autonomous vehicles, a research topic that is expected to impact our day-to-day -day lives in a significant way in the near future. And that's the reason why I picked this topic for this talk. Okay, we have a lot to tell, so let's get started. The first step to take is to give an answer to the following research question. Why do we need to predict the intentions of vulnerable users and drivers, and why is it so relevant for enhanced automated driving and for the adoption of autonomous vehicles in the near future? In order to support our case, I propose that we take a look at the following video so that we can get a taste of reality, a feeling of real driving situations where the maneuvers of surrounding vehicles are not properly anticipated by other drivers, leading to extremely dangerous situations, some of them ending up in multiple collisions. The same can be said about vulnerable road users. Just look at the behavior of this child. Or this cyclist. Do you think it's unpredictable? Maybe not. But anticipating behavior and predicting trajectories is not only about safety. It is also directly related to the efficiency of traffic flows. Just take a look at this situation. A driver is waiting to enter a roundabout, but he or she never finds the appropriate gap to do it. This is a day-to-day -day reality for all of us. And as a matter of fact, we know by experience that the only way to do it in dense traffic conditions is to anticipate the intentions of other drivers, as is happening now, and to establish a kind of negotiation with them. With this, we arrive at the main motivation of our research. Autonomous vehicles need to understand human behavior. There are several arguments that support this statement. The first one is that they need to mimic human behavior in order to deal with complex traffic situations, as the one we have just seen in the video. A second one has to do with safety, given that anticipated reactions lead to fewer accidents and minimal consequences of those which are inevitable. Another aspect already mentioned has to do with efficiency. Autonomous vehicles must be able to adapt their behavior by negotiating with other road users, especially in dense traffic conditions. Last but not least, understanding behavior allows to avoid pushing on other road users, transmitting a feeling of cooperation and respect. This clearly contributes to increased driving comfort, which is also relevant. The problem requires a behavioral analysis, given that the behavior of road users depends on multiple factors, such as social and legal norms, the contextual situation, I mean the type of road, number and width of road lanes, the influence of the group, and many others. The point is that we don't understand the problem fully yet, and only partial studies have been conducted so far. On top of that, data collection is a complex and extremely unbalanced problem, given that the collection of corner cases would require driving millions of kilometers in real driving conditions. Let's start talking about the prediction of driver's intentions, given that it leads to the prediction of vehicles' trajectories and maneuvers. A first dilemma to deal with is presented here. Should we predict intention or trajectory? The answer to this question leads to a kind of vicious circle. On the one hand, we can predict intention and then estimate the most likely trajectory, or, conversely, we can start by predicting the trajectory and then infer intention or behavior. The optimal solution to the problem is to combine both in order to reinforce each other. Let's take a look at the features that we need to predict vehicles' trajectories and maneuvers. On the one hand, we have the traditional features such as the lateral dynamics, distance to lane markings, lateral velocity and acceleration, Longitudinal dynamics, this is relative distance, velocity and acceleration with respect to other vehicles. And motion history, including vehicle tracks in local or global coordinates. On the other hand, there are other features not so frequently used. Among those, we find the visual appearance of the road scene containing elements such as the vehicle type and the vehicle lights, and the contextual information. Here we can include the road type, number of lanes, lane width and lane markings, among others. 
Given the need for data, we decided to create a prevention data set with a view to providing data to the scientific community working on the prediction of vehicles' trajectories and maneuvers. The prevention data set contains data obtained with six different sensors in a detection rate of 100 meters around the Eagle vehicle. Prevention has 3,000 vehicle tracks and more than 4 million vehicle detections. Lane markings are properly labeled, as well as all relevant events for prediction purpose. The dataset was created by driving in the Spanish provinces of Madrid and Guadalajara in 2018. As I have just mentioned, prevention contains relevant vehicle maneuvers for prediction purpose, all of them properly labeled such as vehicle cutting, vehicle cutout, merging from ramp, hazardous lane changes, even more hazardous lane changes, and other dangerous situations that require some kind of urgent reaction. The prevention dataset is publicly available for download at the link that you can see on the screen. It was presented by Alvaro Quintanar at the IEEE Intelligent Transportation Systems Conference in 2019 in Auckland, New Zealand. You are really invited to use it. Let's speak now about the prediction of intentions and trajectories for vulnerable road users. As already mentioned, this is a complex behavioral problem. Understanding the behavior of VRUs is neither intuitive nor deterministic, and it depends on multiple factors such as demographics, traffic dynamics, environmental conditions, and cultural and social norms, among many others. The problem is complex, but the potential gain is very high, since it will allow to develop predictive self-driving cars with capacity to anticipate the intentions of VRUs to implement adaptive HMIs that interact with VRUs in an optimal manner and to provide inputs for the optimal design of road infrastructure, given that most accidents involving VRUs are directly related to the road configuration. Similar to what we did for vehicle trajectories, we analyze here the most frequently used variables for predicting the intentions and trajectories of VRUs. First, we find a number of relative variables, such as pedestrian to curve and pedestrian to vehicle distance or pedestrian to vehicle velocity, and a group of interesting contextual variables. These include pedestrian gate directions, this is looking for eye contact for drivers, traffic light status, traffic rules, and pedestrian's body language. At this point, we have a rough idea about the nature of the problem. Let's dig deeper now into our approach to it. The first version developed in our lab aimed at predicting pedestrians' body pose, crossing intentions and trajectories using body features and Gaussian processes, a generative solution that provided reasonable predictions in a time frame of one second. No contextual information was used in this system, only the body features describing the pedestrian's skeletons that you can see in red and blue colors in this picture. Let's see the system in action. This video shows a pedestrian approaching an emulated road curve. The image is frozen at the time the pedestrian steps onto the curve. After that, predictions of body pose and position are shown at several time instants. As can be observed, the predictions match quite well the real body pose and positions. This work was conducted by Raúl Quintero in the framework of his PhD thesis. The details of the system were published in this article in the IEEE Transactions on Intelligent Transportation Systems in 2018, having become a reference in the state-of-the-art of pedestrian trajectory prediction. In the next step, we realized that we needed to incorporate some contextual features in order to improve the quality of predictions. A first idea was to use the past history of body features, as the ones shown in this video in green color. These features provide cues about the past movements of predictions, which in turn are essential for predicting the most likely future movements. With the idea of using contextual information, we developed a new predictive system that was an extension of the first one. For such purpose, a contextual features vector was set up, including the following elements. The first variable contains information about the static context, namely the relative distance between the pedestrian and the closest road curb. A second variable, denoted as motion state, contains the history of body pose features as shown in the video. This variable is intended to provide information about pedestrian dynamics. 
The third element deals with contextual dynamics containing two variables, the pedestrian's to vehicle relative distance and the pedestrian's head or gaze orientation, in an attempt to consider whether or not the pedestrian is looking for eye contact with the driver. Using these features as inputs, we built a long short-term memory recurrent neural network based on an encoder-decoder architecture as depicted in this picture. The output of the system is the pedestrian's crossing intentions in a time horizon of two seconds. In this example, the immediate prediction shows that the pedestrian has the intention to cross, while the predictions at two seconds indicates that it is most likely that the pedestrian will eventually not cross. The system achieved an F1 score performance close to 90% for crossing and non-crossing intentions respectively. In the most recent version of our pedestrian predictive system, we have included the video image as an additional input together with the positions of the pedestrian's bounding boxes in the image plane, the pedestrian's skeleton describing the body pose, and the relative pedestrian's to ego vehicle velocity. These features are the input to a new type of transformer architecture denoted as Timesformer that includes a self-attention mechanism and a fusion module located after the transformer encoder. As in the previous version, the Timesformer provides the pedestrian's crossing intentions in a time horizon of two seconds. In July 2021, the Timesformer implemented in our lab was the best performing predictive system in the Pi dataset, an advanced dataset for pedestrian prediction purpose created by the University of York in Canada. This work has been carried out by Javier Lorenzo in the framework of his PhD thesis about the prediction of pedestrians crossing intentions using contextual information. Time to talk about how to perform vehicle motion forecast in a lane change prediction system. For this purpose, we trace back the trajectories of all vehicles in the road scene by looking two seconds backwards. In this image, you can see the vehicle motion history represented by the vehicle contours overlaid on the original image. The vehicle under study is represented in blue, while motion histories of all other vehicles are represented in green. The use of motion history together with the original image allows to account for the visual appearance of the road scene, which is essential for situation assessment and understanding. There are several elements that provide very interesting cues in this regard, such as the road type and road lanes, the activation of braking lights or blinkers, as well as the behavior of cars that drive behind or in parallel with the slow tracks. All these features constitute the input of a deep neural network that learns from the behavior of real drivers, producing amazingly realistic lane change predictions. In order to assess the performance of our lane change prediction system, all lane changes were appropriately labeled in the prevention dataset. For such purpose, we consider the lane change event as the time when the center of gravity of the car crosses the lane markings. With this reference, we fix the accuracy of the system at 87.4% and measure the lane change anticipation time, which proved to be of 2.5 seconds for the deep neural network and 1.7 seconds for the average of 72 volunteers that participated in what we call the prevention challenge. With these figures, our lane change prediction system proves to be 800 milliseconds faster than humans in average. The accurate prediction of trajectories of all vehicles is carried out using a schematic vertiview view images of the road scene around the Ego vehicle. These are the basics. The input to the deep neural network is built from a schematic vertiview view images that contain the positions of vehicles and lane markings in the past two seconds, forming the input volume that you can see in this picture, where vehicles are represented by grey boxes. The output of the deep neural network provides the future positions of all vehicles in the next two seconds. In this picture, the predicted positions are represented by yellow ellipses, where the ground truth is represented by grey boxes. This strategy allows to produce simultaneous predictions for all vehicles in the road scene, rendering the runtime independent of the number of vehicles. In this image, we can take a closer look at the predictions. As can be observed, the yellow ellipses match quite well the ground truth positions, even in a situation like this one, where several vehicles change their lane or accelerate significantly. This work was carried out by Ruben Izquierdo in the framework of his PhD thesis, where he developed lane change and trajectory prediction systems using different types of contextual information. 
In the next step of our research, we have recently developed a SCOUT, a socially aware system for holistic and integrated motion forecast of vehicles and vulnerable road users. In this picture, we can see several vehicles interacting among them at an intersection. The social nature of their interactions must be taken into account when producing motion predictions. And this is precisely what a SCOUT does. A SCOUT is socially aware and socially consistent, meaning that the collision of predictive trajectories is considered in the loss function during the learning phase in order to avoid unrealistic and overlapping trajectory predictions. A SCOUT leverages its capability for transferable knowledge and provides explainable interpretation of interactions among raw users. For this purpose, a SCOUT is based on graphical convolutional neural networks, which are especially useful for modeling interactions among a variable number of actors. In order to assess the performance of a SCOUT, we conducted an ablation study where the quality of predictions in terms of average deviation error, or ADE, and final deviation error, or FDE, were measured in a comparative manner for six state-of-the-art systems on the IND dataset. In average, a scout outperformed all other tested systems in more than 25%. The interpretability features of a scout can be better understood in these images. Let's start with this example. At the top, we can see an aerial image of the road scenario. At the bottom, we see a graphical representation of the output provided by a scout, where the interactions between actors are represented by vectors of different intensity. The higher the intensity of the vector, the stronger the interaction between the actors. In this example, the most significant interaction takes place between the two vehicles that are highlighted by red ellipses on the screen. Similarly, in the next example, the strongest connection corresponds to the interaction between a motorcycle represented in yellow and a car represented in blue. In the third example, the system finds that the most significant connections correspond to the interactions among three vehicles, meaning that a scout has the capacity to identify relevant interactions among multiple actors. In the final example, multiple interactions among several cars and pedestrians are identified by the system in an overcrowded scenario with different types of actors. These four examples illustrate the interpretability capacity of a scout and its ability to provide cues for highlighting the most relevant interactions between actors, even in complex scenarios. A scout also provides extremely accurate predictions of trajectories for all types of actors in mixed traffic scenarios, including vehicles, pedestrians and cyclists, as can be seen in this video, where vehicles are represented in blue, pedestrians in red, and bicycles and motorcycles in yellow. The predicted trajectories for all of them are provided in a time horizon of 5 seconds, which is very appropriate for motion planning of autonomous vehicles. As can be observed, the system can accurately predict the turning intentions of several cars when approaching an intersection. Similarly, the system predicts the stopping intentions of pedestrians when approaching a crossing area. The predicted trajectories are socially aware and socially consistent in all cases. A scout has been developed by Sandra Carrasco in the framework of her PhD thesis and recently presented at the 2021 IEEE Intelligent Vehicle Symposium in Nagoya, Japan, where she got the Best PhD Student Paper Award. So far, we have presented several solutions for predicting the maneuvers and trajectories of vulnerable users and drivers. These predictions are expected to be useful in the context of automated driving. Let's see now how the whole thing looks from the perspective of an autonomous vehicle.
Some of these recent developments were implemented and tested in the framework of BRAVE, an EU-funded project in the Horizon 2020 program. BRAVE aims at bridging the gap between drivers and automated vehicles by incorporating predictive systems that are expected to accelerate the adoption of autonomous vehicles and their social acceptance. BRAVE took inspiration from Euroncap use cases for evaluating the quality of the predictive systems in the scenarios where cars interact with pedestrians and cyclists in different situations and conditions, such as the AEB VRU pedestrian and the AEB VRU cyclist. Similarly, several Euroncap use cases were tested for assessing the interactions between vehicles, with a special emphasis on the AD capability to manage aggressive entering vehicles, a use case especially designed to study the benefit that anticipative reactions can bring in terms of safety and comfort. The systems were tested in a proving ground provided by UTAC, a brave partner whose premises are located a few kilometers south of Paris in France. The proving ground comprises a high-speed ring with several tracks for specific tests, including a multi-purpose open area. The tests were conducted using the Driver Thief autonomous vehicle owned by the University of Alcala. Driver Thief is equipped with cameras, Velodyne and radars, among other sensors. All predictive systems were implemented on Driver Thief's NVIDIA platform and tested in UTAC. Several robotized dummies were used in the experiments at UTAC, including a balloon car, a pedestrian target and a bicycle one, all of them following Euroncap standards. Sophisticated image-based artificial intelligence algorithms were used for detecting the 3D body pose of the robotized dummies, both for the pedestrian and for the cyclist. Several use cases were tested in the brief project at UTAC, such as the pedestrian walking in parallel, Pedestrian looking at driver and crossing. Pedestrian crossing in occluded scenario. Overtake cyclist. Vehicle cutting emulating emerging maneuver. And false positive at intersections, including vehicle turn and vehicle cross. This video shows the lane change prediction system in action from the perspective of the camera on board the autonomous vehicle. This is the moment when the lane change is detected and an avoidance maneuver is started. The same maneuver is shown from the perspective of the driver, as well as from the perspective of external cameras, where the complexity and risk of the maneuver can be much better appreciated. The BRAVE project organized the final demonstration event in February 2021 at the campus of the University of Alcalá, in Alcalá de Henares, Spain. One of the main elements in the demo was the demonstration of the attentional features of BRAVE by detecting pedestrians looking for eye contact with the driver. This is a clear evidence of the pedestrians' intentions to start walking to cross the street. Pedestrians' gaze direction was detected using vision-based artificial intelligence algorithms. This video shows the performance of the eye contact detector developed in the BRAVE project. In order to assess the robustness of the system, it was tested with several individuals with and without face masks. As can be observed, performance is totally robust in all cases. The final demo of BRAVE exhibited the driver thief vehicle performing autonomous driving tasks at the campus of the University of Alcala in real traffic conditions following the route indicated in this picture. The route comprised several roundabouts, crossings and intersections. Let's take a look at the following video for further insight into the demo. The final test of BRAVE project has been conducted by the University of Alcala using DriverTiv, an autonomous vehicle equipped with multiple sensors such as LIDAR, color cameras, four radars, and differential GPS. A major feature of BRAVE is the external HMI, located at the vehicle bumper. A turquoise light moving from left to right indicates that the vehicle is starting to move in autonomous mode. A solid light is activated once the vehicle has achieved its cruise speed while driving in autonomous mode. 
Finally, a flashing light indicates that the vehicle is reaching its destination and is coming to a full stop in the next seconds. Brave's navigation, perception, and control systems have been designed to maximize safety and comfort, with a view to boost autonomous driving by increasing users' acceptance. Brave can predict the intentions of pedestrians willing to cross the street and looking for eye contact with the driver. When this happens, the vehicle slows down and the HMI is turned to green as a means to yield to pedestrians. The combination of predictive techniques and an external HMI has proved to be essential for increasing safety and comfort in an autonomous driving. The main conclusion of this talk is that predicting the behaviors of drivers and VRUs is essential for accelerating the adoption of autonomous vehicles. The predictive capabilities will allow AVs to mimic human drivers by adapting the driving task to the behavior of other road users, to contribute to increased safety by anticipating the most likely reactions that the AV's own actions can cause on other road users to contribute to higher efficiency by optimizing traffic flows and energy consumption, and to contribute to increased comfort by enhanced interaction with other road users by means of adaptive HMIs transmitting a feeling of cooperation and respect. The path forward points towards the need for a holistic approach in order to fully understand the factors that rule the behavior of road users, including contextual information, traffic characteristics, social and cultural norms, and demographics, among others. Finally, further developments on adaptive motion planning and HMIS strategies are definitely needed as a means to accelerate the adoption of AVs and their social acceptance. Before concluding this talk, I want to give credit to my colleagues in the Inver Research Group of the University of Alcalá. My gratitude to all my colleagues for their great contributions to this research line. As a matter of fact, I owe everything to them. This is pretty much about it. I really hope you have enjoyed this keynote. If you have any questions or comments, you can drop me a line at any time at the email address that you can see at the left-hand side of your screen. In the meantime, stay safe, take care, and see you soon.